Today I'm going to show you how to set up this KY038 microphone module, so let's go. Alright, so I'm going to show you how to set this module up on an Arduino, but basically this module is a very basic sound level detector, and it basically has an electronic condenser microphone attached to the top. Now, other than the voltage and ground pin, it has an analog out and digital out. Now the analog is a real-time output voltage signal of the microphone and the digital activates and has an output of high when it reaches a certain value with the sound intensity. Now the sound intensity can also be adjusted by the potentiometer on the module. First I want to go into the wiring of the unit. Now we basically have a 5 volt and ground that go to the plus and the ground on the actual module. We then have the analog out on the left hand side that goes to one of the analog in pins on the Arduino and I'm just choosing the, the pin number 0. And we also have the digital out which I'm going across to one of the digital pins. Now that pin can be whatever you want, same as the analog. You just need to make sure in your code that you change it to be the correct one. So you can see I've set it up here in the breadboard. I've got the module itself just connected in there. We've got the analog signal, ground, positive, then digital. So the analog I've got going across to zero on the board. And then we've got that digital, which I've plugged into pin 52. Now the negative and positive, as you can see, go to the ground and plus 5 volts. Now it's as simple as setting it up like that with the wiring, then all you have to do is jump into the code. So first off I'm going to tackle the analog side. Now the code's actually pretty straightforward. As you can see, all you need is to set up your mic pin input, and then we're going to have a sensor value which is an integer that can hold that value. And once we've got that set up, you'll see that the volume will actually come in as that voltage output from the analog pin. Now, as you can see, it's hovering around that 40, and then when I talk into it, it jumps up. It can go up to around the 100 or higher, whatever it will be, depending on how loud it is. So the louder the noise into the module, the higher the number will be. Now, I'm also changing the delay as well so that it will actually read those numbers quicker and actually take more samples. So it just depends on what you need it for but you can set it all the way down to zero delay if you want it to be consistently updating. So now if we look at the digital pin side, what I've done is created a separate bit of code that is reading not only the analog but the digital, but basically as the digital goes high from the noise going into that module, it sends that high signal through into the digital pin on the Arduino board. Now when it reads that pin and it sees that, okay, it's now going from a 0 to a 1. So all you need to do is make sure that it's reading that digital input and when it sees it change, you can then set up whatever variable you want to happen. So it can turn something on, it can turn something off, whatever you want. In this case, what I've set up is it's reading the sensor value and if it goes above that 550, meaning that it's actually getting that loud sound, it's going to turn the LED on the in built LED on the board on, as you can see here. All right, so basically I've got a snapshot here. What we can see is on the module itself, the left-hand side LED is lit up. So basically what it's saying is it's meet the criteria, which you can adjust with that potentiometer. Once it's met that criteria, it said, yep, it's loud enough. It's putting the high on the digital pin, which goes into the Arduino. But then at the same time, I actually had from the analog side, it was meeting the criteria of that output voltage signal. And so what it's done is said in the code, once I've hit that number, which I set up as 550, it actually said, turn the LED on the Arduino board on. And that's what's happened here. So I hope you liked this tutorial. Let me know if you have any questions on this tutorial or if you want to see something else. Now make sure you leave a like and subscribe to catch up with other projects like this. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.